Yo, what's going on, sexy Sam Letter Squad? It's Try Hard Thursday. Now, first off, uh, I did not upload yesterday. I just needed to take a break. Uh, I I needed a mental health day, so I just you know I didn't do anything yesterday. I literally I woke up, I played games, but I didn't record them or stream them or anything, and it was great. Honestly, <laughs> it was it was a real it was a real nice little day off. Uh, that I feel like I haven't had in a long time because normally even on my days off I record you know I just take the day off from streaming but I didn't even record yesterday oh my god it felt so freeing I'll be honest it was pretty crazy but I'm back and we're try hard Thursday and we're fragging and I'm playing Chiron and we're going sicko mode also uh, I know I haven't been mentioning it a whole lot recently that's because I mentioned it for like about a week and a half straight but tomorrow aka friday the 30th i am doing a 24-hour stream again it's gonna be about a half and half stream half smite half variety and um it's going to be absolutely amazing as always there's going to be a lot of opportunities to win money there's also um, going to be opportunities to see you guys watch me play something other than Smite if you would like to, but a lot of opportunities to mess me up in my Smite games also, and or play with me. So, yeah, you know, a lot of fun stuff is going to happen, and there is an outfit. I'm not going to let you know what it is, though. If you want to know what it is, you got to come there. You got to, you got to witness it in person. Anyways, tomorrow, 6 p.m., Friday the 30th. I was going to say Saturday, but technically it is also on Saturday, but you know what I mean. Please don't steal this. My, uh, my buff clear is not significant compared to yours. Nope. 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 Um, my wave clear should be better than yours, though, right? Like, it just straight up should be, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, I don't think you scare me here. I don't think I'm all that spooked. Did he only do one buff? No, he definitely did both. Definitely did both. No, dude, I thought you were backing. Oh, I wasn't even paying attention. God damn it. All right. All right. Relax. Darn it. I just let him get a lead because I suck. <laughs> because I assumed he would back when he clearly was not going to. Darn it. Not again. I'm watching this time. I'm prepped for your... Your demonized stealing. Also, I'm ulting this way. Because I want this XP cap. Oh, actually... Oh, you're going to stop me from red. Damn it. It's alright. I'm just getting the minis. You're going to ult this, aren't you? Oh, cool. I am knock of immune in my three, by the way. In case you're wondering why my three like actually worked when I did that, please stop. You're scaring me. Please stop. Okay. This soul is terrifying. He's very aggressive. Which I guess. I mean, it makes sense. He is soul, right? But at the same time, I mean, come on. Don't be mean to me. Oh, he was waiting for my blue, but he couldn't wait any longer. Waiting for my blue, but couldn't wait any longer. Do 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 do. Um. Yeah, I'm just going to streamline blue buff here. 
I kind of want to alt the wave again. But I won't. I won't. Just the last hitting it. I don't know where he is, but he's definitely losing a lot of XP here. He missed three minions. He missed three minions worth of experience points. Oh, he backed to get some defense. That makes sense. It makes sense. You want to win the fights. But you don't scare me, young pad one. I missed. <laughs> tossed. Get tossed. Absolutely tossed, bro. Man, even with his, uh, his Bancrofts here, I feel like I'm winning this fight. Nope. If I don't land an auto, I'm not gonna. Nice. Nice. That 2-1 combo really hurt him. There's nothing I can get. Red buffs up, but I don't want him to get it. So obviously, I'm chilling. I am poking him out really efficiently. I have no idea where he is. Okay. He just gave me red. Oh, he backed. Do you have full breastplate? Oh my god, you do. Okay, fine. Fine. You know what? Good back. Stop being annoying. Nice. <laughs> he actually listened. <laughs> Are you going to do my, my blue? Bro, chill. Poppy, chill. Sub-zero. Sub-zero con crocs. I don't know what that means. All right, I'm trying to think. Do I? It's tryhard Thursday, right? So obviously I'm tryharding. I'm not going to go like straight into Deathbringer right here. But... Should I go Toxic Blade for some anti-heal, Beat Stick for some anti-heal, or do I just go Genji's for a little bit of cooldown? Because I do need cooldown. I mean, I'm Chiron for, for goodness sakes. Cooldown is muy importante. So... I don't know. I think what I want the most is cooldown. And if I'm being honest, I suppose I need defense. I'm fighting a soul. I can't go no defense. I'll get clapped. Alright, fine. I talked myself into it. I'll go Genji's. But I'll be honest. I didn't want to. <laughs> I didn't want to. But I do have 10% cooldown for my Transcendence now. I'll grab this, and then I'll start going into Toxic Blade. And... I'm only up a little over 400 gold. My damage is not good right now. And I have red buff too. If you can't 1-2 combo the minis off of buff camp, your damage is pretty awful. But my sustained fighting is pretty good, so. Yeah, I won that fight, and he landed way more autos than I did. Alright. B mini. I just broke the number one rule of Chiron. Don't use your two unless it also hits them. These are up, so I will try to take them. Oh man, I am playing this so well. 
I literally don't care about hitting him because if I have minions, there's nothing you can do about that. He has to alt here, by the way. Yeah. The reason I wasn't going for the kill right there instantly was because I needed my two to be on him. He does heal quite a bit, but at the end of the day, I'm definitely ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not stupid. Oh, you do not win this. Oh, so low. Dude, that healing is crazy. He's healing so much. All right, is he actually backing this time? He is. And... I got my toxic blade. My leg! My leg is itchy. Ah. Um. Damn, that one fight, even though neither, neither of us died, that one fight got me 800 gold. Holy crap. All right. I'm feeling a lot better because I got this toxic blade now, so he can't do all that lifesteal shit to me that he was doing before. He also only does 54 damage to me. Oh, I am... I am really owning you right now. Okay, well, not if I'm garbage. That's on me. Big slow, big slow. Nice. Big kill. I think if I didn't get that slow on him, like if my one didn't land, I think I don't kill him there, actually. Oh, took a lot of damage from that. Reason I just insta used my three real quick is because uh, I wanted my passive to, to kick in. And obviously I'm just going to be doing all the XP on the map right now. They don't want him to have it. He could do Bull Demon, but that's fine to me. I, I I really don't think that him doing Bull Demon is going to be an issue at all. Especially because I still have Tower. Also, I'm going Yotens here, which... It's not, I think, a perfect play for me. But it is something that's going to be really good because cooldown. Mm, got that Demonic and you actually start hurting. Oh my gosh, but I all of a sudden do way more damage. Hmm. Okay. giving me red buff okay honestly it's not a great trade i don't love that i'm doing it but red buff for tower i'll take it he's got too much healing and i didn't have the cooldown to deal with him i do have jotuns now though which is not only going to give me a little bit of base pen to match with my Toxic Blade. Um, but it's also going to give me 45 power and 20% cooldown. So I'm now capped out on cooldown. Which feels lovely, by the way. Perfect. Perfect. That was literally so good, dude. The reason that was uh, that was a perfect fight for me is because when he started getting aggressive on me, I knew guaranteed that 
this was either a kill or be killed scenario, right? When he pressed his three and dashed towards me, the only option I had was thorns and fight. And then when he uh, came out of his three and won, and I pressed thorns, I already knew I won that fight. Because I'm sitting in his one, which does do a significant amount of damage, by the way, if you've, if you've noticed. Um, it does do a, a not insignificant amount. And that's automatically hitting him with thorns. And then on top of that, if he wants to continue the fight, which he knows he will lose, then he has to alt, which I'm still gonna stand in with thorns up. So, um, his only option there was to run away, but he was getting clobbered by my autos. He really couldn't. It was just a bad scenario for him and a great one for me. I really want this Phoenix. Nope. I'm going to start instantly with my ult. I don't care about his thorns because uh, I have magical defense. So his thorns means literally nothing to me. Yeah, his thorns, I hit him seven times. It only did 300 damage. All right. I wanted, I was struggling between getting this red buff before I took Phoenix or after I took Phoenix, but I do think taking it after is better just because if I took it before, I didn't know if I had enough time to do Phoenix. And I wanted to make sure that Phoenix was down, right? Obviously. Ouch. Come on, one auto. Yeah. Oh, you're greeting your speed buff. You might die here. You might lose the game here. All right, if he's fighting again. Perfect. Another one of those scenarios where if he fights, I thorns. Even if thorns doesn't do much, like right there, it only did 84. Um, even if it's not doing much, it's deterring him from hitting me because he knows if he does, he'll take more damage. So, I don't know. Overall, a really good game one, and I will see you guys in game number two. What's up, boys? Game number two. I'm playing Hades. I'm fighting a Diamond Border Pele. Oh! That is just interesting. I, dude, not a Smurf GM. Ah, oh, my guess. My guess is he might be some Grandmaster Smurf. Hmm. I don't know where I'm getting such a weird idea from, but it might be. <laughs> All right, so this will be an interesting game. I wanted to... Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I wanted to play Hades all video. Like, I wanted to do an entire Hades video. But the first, vi the first guy banned Hades. And so I had to switch it up. I played Chiron. I know. I know. You're as sad as I am. But at the end of the day, it's okay. An hour and a half of Hades is probably too much Hades anyways. Hades nuts. All right. That was a, that was a quick speed buff. You know, what's weird to me is he has less MMR than me. He has less MMR, but he has enough games on Pele that's a diamond border. Oh, but also, I guess he could be 2750 because he hasn't played on that account yet. That makes sense. He could be. Hello. I don't think you won that. I don't think you even came close to winning that. <clears throat> oh, first item Soul Eater. It's a bit nerfed. I don't know how much I love it anymore, but it's not bad. You're not going to clear these guys? You're not going to come clear these guys? I'm going to be annoying. This game, I'm literally just going to sit at tower line and, like, threaten alt. 
That's my whole game plan. All right, you're gonna ult out. Oh, he beads, I think. I didn't hear him beads, but I think he did. I'm down for that trade. I'm down to let the backs go off there. It builds me a little bit of time for my ult to get back up. He will get the minions faster than me because of his three, but it doesn't really mean much, honestly. Yeah. We got his ult, and I still am very healthy. Oh, you are not that healthy, though. You are not that healthy. You cannot be that aggro against a, a Hades. And he doesn't have beads or ult, I think. So I think I should be able to just like alt him next time, right? <clears throat> I really, really, really want to go Book of Thoth. But I also know I should probably just go Breastplate. Because he's going to double stack. I mean, he's already starting, right? So Let's go. Autoing for 69. So there's no kills on the board yet, but I am a little over 500 gold up. Okay, alt for alt. Alt for alt. I'll take it. Nice, I got them both. I got them both. I don't know, he needs to be a little bit more scared of me, I think. Perfect. Perfect. I greeted. I mean, this doesn't kill, right? No, not at all. Not at all. I was hoping though. Red buff is spawning. Soon, I guess. I probably lose it actually. He did a very well timed back. But I'm still going to try to get it. I'm going to go pick that up now. What did you get? Only tier 2 trans? Alright. Alright, you have no alt, right? Alright, B's down. Is your blue up? Because <clears throat> I would love it if it is. I know it's spawning soon. <clears throat> I think I'm better off just clearing wave though. Honestly. Clearing wave and doing my own blue. Hopefully he doesn't steal it. It would be very easy for him to though. He chose not to. Thankfully. Um, I'm going to grab breastplate. 
And I have enough gold to grab Talon and Tier 1 of Typhons. Which is pretty perfect. <clears throat> I'm going to lose some tower damage here, but it's fine. It's fine. Let's see, did I lose the XP camps? It didn't. You know, it's weird because he... Clearly, he's like a Smurf GM, right? But... He doesn't really contest anything. He just lets me do my shit. Huh? What if he's being honest? Why is a diamond border Pele? And anyone with a diamond border in duel wins like 80 or 90% of their games. So I feel like he's definitely a GM who's on a smurf. I just don't know who it is. And I also don't know why he's not contesting anything. I don't think you scare me enough. But even with your soul eater and all your life steal and your passive and everything like that, you like you just don't scare me. Um You might do enough damage to take that if I let you. Obviously, I don't want to fight him, but if I can peel him off of the, the tower for a second, I'm going to take it. Because any time he's, he's spent not hitting the tower is time spent my tower is living. Hello. Goodbye. Yeah, that was that was definitely misplayed by him. That was really misplayed by him, I think. Okay, rude. Alright. Are you going to follow me? That's not up yet. Um, I do wonder if he stayed and did it. We did. Okay. All right. <clears throat> well played. Well played. Is your blue up? Oh, it is. You take one of mine. I take one of yours. We call it even. Deal. gonna go for a speed buff now oh I didn't get it man you are tanky huh All right, though. <clears throat> he got one of my buffs. I got one of his. And I got the red buff beforehand, so we're chilling. And even though he got Bull Demon, I'm actually still ahead on tower damage. <clears throat> I have my Typhons now, which is giving me a little bit of pen. I'm obviously going to go Poly next item. Um, I would love a Divine Ruin. Like, he's got a lot of healing in his passive and the Soul Eater. So I'm, like, never killing him. Mm. I'm pretty sure he did a red buff. I heard him use an ability, but... Yeah. It's annoying. But it also is what it is. 
And I don't care. Hello. My guess is the reason he let me do that was because he wants my blue buff. But he doesn't want my blue buff. I actually will pick up my blue. An extra 10% cooldown is not bad. The reason I don't want him to back yet is because I have so much of a power spike on him at the moment. That if I can just greed him, force him to stay, I can get so many more objectives over him. Like, for instance, I can steal his buff. You can laugh at me if you want. You're the one that lost your buff. And I get his tower. And I'm going to contest his speed buff. All because I blinked and stopped his back. You can do a lot with the stop the back if you time it correctly. Thank you. <clears throat> Alright, so I got both of his buffs. I got both of his buffs and I got the tower. Still no kills, but it's a very good game so far. My guess is he's doing bull demon. I think it'd be idiotic if he wasn't. I don't think he's an idiot, so I assume he's doing Bull Demon. I don't think I can get there in time, but I'm going to try. Oh. <clears throat> okay. He's not doing Bull Demon. He wants red. Okay. That makes sense. Hello? Oh, all right. I got his ult there. He really did not want to ult that. I don't think I can do bull demon. I don't do enough damage. God, Hades is so OP. It's stupid. I need to go divine and staff a Mirrodin, by the way. That's, those, those are my next items. Hello. Paliato. Yeah, you want to fight me? I have so, I have so much poly autos though. Oof, my damage is so high, man. There it is. The Blinkus. The Blinkus. And first blood also gives me tower, or I mean Phoenix. And maybe even the Titan. No, definitely not the Titan. I don't do that much damage. Relax, Gustapo. But I will take your blue buff on my way out. And I will get my divine. I actually kind of want to go staff a Murden instead of divine here. Just help my cooldown a little more. Because I am going to pick up this blue buff. And uh, with Staff of Murden, I'm going to have 20% pen instead of 10. Which is really good, obviously. And um, I'm also going to have max cooldown instead of 30%. So helps quite a bit. Not to mention it's 105 power. You can't really just overlook that. Quite a lot of power. I don't know why you keep, like, fake backing. You know I will beat your shit in, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> you can't just fake back me. I'm Hades. At best, you slightly annoy me. And at worst, you die. So <laughs> it's not really worth it. Oh, big lifesteal. 
Ouch. Oh, he thought I wouldn't turn. He thought I wouldn't turn. He was chasing for the kill, but nope. Nope, I turned. And that's game. That was a really competitive game too, actually. Against, I think, probably the number one Pele, if I had to guess. I want to see how much MMR I get. Yeah, only 15. So he's not... He's not GM. I do want to check his border real quick, though. Pele. Yeah, he's... Dude, he's 41 and 9. Well, 41 and 8 before I just beat him. He's the number two Pele in the world. Not bad. Not a bad dub. I'll see you guys in game three. What's up, boys? Welcome back to game number three. This guy banned Bakasura, Kali, Arachne, and Nemesis. So he really doesn't want to fight a melee assassin. So naturally... I'm going to pick a melee assassin in the form of Ravana. Now, I know Ravana is like, Sam, you're not tryharding if you pick Ravana, but I disagree. Ravana is super underrated. Um, people think he's kind of like a blowout. If you see a Ravana, you're like, oh, okay, I just won this game. Nope. Nah. -uh. Ravana fucking slaps, dude. I think Ravana is one of my sleeper picks. Like, sleeper is in not, not that I underrate him because I think he's S tier. I actually think he's so, so good. Um, and I'll show you this game, why I think that, but I do think he's S tier. And, uh, oh, dude, I don't know. I think I'll just go show. But he's uh, my sleeper pick in the sense where people don't know that I love playing him. But I really enjoy playing him. <laughs> you double stack Robin and just dick slam everybody oh also your ultimate by the way gives you 30 percent damage mitigation i don't know if a lot of people knew that but 30 percent damage mitigation in duel is pretty pog it's pretty pog um so i'm fighting an anubis and i'm fighting an anubis so instead of going for double buffs what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna see if i can steal his blue because obviously he wants that thing. And if I can stop him from having it, that would be ideal. Wow, oh, that's dicks. That's dicks. Unlucky. But also fine. But unlucky. Yeah, dance at me again, bro. He's backing. As he should be. He's not backing no longer. I bet you he almost died to that minion wave. Minion waves are fucking brutal this early, dude. We'll clear that. And then I want to go just like rotate all the way around here. I'm never going to be able to back and finish Transcendence while also defending red. So I'm going to have to fight into a full Bancrofts with a tier 2 Transcendence for red buff. And I already knew that. I mean, the, the second I bought tier 2 Trans, I knew that's how this was going to play out. He does nothing to me, man. Absolutely nothing to me. So, he backs. I trade alt for alt. I get the wave. And I'm up a buff. We love that. Perfect. Now I get my transcendence online. I sell this potion for a chalice. I get my ass out there. 
Now, he does have finished Bancrofts now, so... It's going to be a bit harder to poke him until I can get my beat stick online. Which is going to take a while. Because I want to go Soul Eater. But, that's okay. We can wait. We can wait. Why are you just dance spamming me? Dude, people love emoting me. I don't know why. Your name is Windows 7. Yeah. I got both of those. I got both of those. Damn it. It's super important, by the way, as Ravana, to level up your alt whenever you can. Whenever you get the chance. Slow. <clears throat> I could go tier 2 soul eater now. Mm. Is tier 2 soul eater even worth it? I don't know. He very, very much wants red buff. Come, don't be shy. I guess he has me warded, huh? Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I am okay with every trade so far, by the way. No. Okay. I'm still okay with every trade. He doesn't really have the mana to kill me. Perfect. So, I want Soul Eater, and I want to go Genji's. Actually, you know what I want to do? I want to go Bulwark for my defensive item. Bulwark is the best defensive item against Anubis. 20% CCR is massively underrated. You're literally taking a fifth of his ult and just deleting it. Because he's not going to keep you wrapped that long. All right, I now have Transcendence stacked, which means an extra 10% cooldown on my uh, booty cheek. I'm just trying to get stacks. Oh, okay. Oh, he got more damage. I mean, I guess I also got more damage. In the form of soul leader but it's like a long-term thing right like i'm going for the survivability aspect he just went more damage which isn't bad I, you know i mean you're anubis if you hit someone you want to kill them but at the same time why aren't you ever backing man you probably have so much gold. Oh, cause red buff. Oh, 
Ja. Ja, ja, ja. That went exactly as expected. If he wraps me and doesn't full commit, I full commit to him. And then the only option he has is to alt me while I'm beating his shit in. And it's not a pretty look, man. It never looks good. Oh, your blue buff's not up yet. Or maybe he just did it. Yo, he's still not going defense. You're literally never going to win a fight. He's literally never going to win a fight. If he's doing this, like, I don't know. I upgraded beats because it takes 30 seconds off the cooldown, by the way. It's the only reason. Nice, and then I'm pretty sure I get five stacks for Soul Eater for big jungle bosses, so... Like this guy. I do. So we're pretty close to finishing this out, man. Finishing this, uh, this Soul Eater out. I am quite a bit ahead. I bet you he's going to stop dancing at me now that I killed him last time he did it. I don't understand, man. Like, I, and I think a lot of you guys don't understand either. When somebody emotes at me, it's, it's never a nice thing. Like, it's never like, oh, it's so friendly, right? And let me tell you why. Because they could very, very easily just message me. If they wanted to be nice, they could message me. But they're not. I can't really kill him. He has a lot of life steal right now. I don't have any pen. Or not pen, I'm sorry. Anti-heal. I want to go beat stick. Hmm. I can probably just ult him and kill him, actually. As long as my ult hits. Even under tower, I'm fine. I'm... My ult didn't hit. Mm. Oh, you heal so much. Nice. Nice. That went a lot better than expected. Because after I missed my ult, I was pretty sure I was dead. As soon as I missed ult, I was like, well, all right. That's a uh, minus one KD in the books for me. I can't believe we actually ended up killing him. All right. I'll go back. Um, I'll grab a beat stick. And I want to go Hydra's too. You auto attack a lot as Ravana. You you know what? Like most of the time when you think about Robin, you're like, okay, he's ability based, and that's that's really it. That's all he is. But you auto attack a lot more than you ability as Robin. You just so happen to use your abilities to clear the wave. And, like, lock them down, I guess, is good and stuff. Can you wrap, please? Oh, that was really close. Darn tootin'. Darn tootin'. Ah. My issue is if I go to Bull Demon, he can easily steal it. Cause he just alt threes and there's like nothing I can do to it that will be even remotely as strong as alt three combo. 
good news is, because my shield is so big, I take no damage doing Bull Demon. And he decided to go for the wave instead of Bull Demon, so it's a win-win for me. Oh, gosh, minion. I have my beads back up, so if he ults me, I should be completely fine. And I want to be aggressive here because I want my minions to get into Phoenix range. Yeah. You do almost nothing to me. Yeah. Okay. okay, well. We got the Phoenix and we won the fight. I didn't get the kill, but I didn't need to get the kill. He blinked to try to steal. He blinked to try to steal speed. That's hard to say. <laughs> Red buff down. Now I could go Heartseeker instead of Hydras. But I... Oh, dude, I don't know. That is so much more power. I really want Hydras. But Heartseeker is like literally more than twice as much power. It's just so worth. Also, he's retaliating for me getting his Phoenix by punching my tower as an Anubis. Which is not the play, by the way. You just want to farm up. Ooh, a latte. What flavor? Hazelnut cheesecake. I'm going to coom. Uh, can I beat him in a fight while tanking his Titan? Oh. What an ultimate. Ooh. All right. Nice. Was he spamming? Was he spam taunting me just now when he died? Or is Ro was Robin spam taunting? Because I didn't, I mean, I didn't use any VGS. It's a bit weird. I want to see what he says. Because I've never met somebody that spam emotes at me that's nice to me. So I want to see what he says. GG well played. Okay. Okay. The dancing question mark. I gotta see. I gotta know what it. I gotta know what it means. Meme. For funds. Okay. I knew I couldn't win. Can. That's not an. Uh, actually, actually. <laughs> Wait a second. Yeah, that matchup kind of blows. I was going to say you can, it's not horrible, but like my two and his burst, uh, yeah, it's kind of shitty, kind of a shitty matchup. I'm not good with assassins. I am only good with a few of them, even though I main them. Yeah, he should. Yeah. You gave yourself, you gave yourself away with all your AA assassin bands. GG's though. I'm glad I was wrong about him. That's I I think he's literally the first person I've ever met that's emoted me and then not shit talked to me the second they had the chance. So I'll take it. I'm glad I was wrong about him. And we're just, I don't even need to cut that game out because we're just going to edit right into the next one because the queue wasn't long at all. What are you banning? What are you banning? I guess, you know what? We'll use this time for a solid monitor capture of my Kiwi clicker. He banned the rat. Interesting. I almost have all eight kings. Boys. You're about to see some magical shit happen when this 8th King comes out. 
Hold on. You see right here? You see I was seven? A little seven number? You can only see it for a split second. It's about to be eight, though. Come on, be eight. Come on, I want to show them how cool I am. Come on. Dude. They're not letting me be cool. You're so close to fin. Just finish. Just finish. Come on. Come on. I'm pissed. Oh, still seven. Okay. Still seven. Okay. <clears throat> still seven. Still seven. Still seven. Eight. Let's go. Now I summon all the kings. I summon all eight of them. You see all these orbs? These are my transcendence points. If anyone's ever played any idol game in the world, they know what transcending is. Hold on. I ban. And then I pick... You see I have 1645 here. Boom, 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 3800. Fucking pog. I'm so cool. I'm so cool and hot and attractive. Holy shit. Okay. Anyways. Yo, he banned Robin. And Ratatask... He banned Robin, Ratatasker, and Vimana... You think he just doesn't like Hindu gods? Four of his five bands are Hindu gods. Hmm. I think we dick slap with a Hindu god then. I think I rom him. Four of his five bands are Hindu gods. Kali, Baka, Vimana, Ravan. Interesting. I understand Kali, Baka, Freya, but Rat, Vimana, Robin are bands that I just don't understand at all. It could, I mean, honestly, though, he could just be like a really great player and not like fighting those gods. I've met people like that. And it does make sense. It really does. We'll see. Hello, Neath. Windows. Oh, this is a guy I just fought. Windows 7. Poggy. Uh, I kind of want to go Devos. But every time I go Devos, I just think that I should have gone Transcendence. What if I just stacked my brains out? Like, what if I went Transcendence and Devos? What are their what are their stacking items there? I could go Soul Eater, technically. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to, but I could. What am I doing? Why am I running to his blue buff? I'm freaking ROM, bro. <laughs> like <laughs> What is happening to me right now? Um ROM does run out of mana pretty quick. But I'm going to trust, I'm going to trust high res because high res recently lowered all of his mana costs on his two and his one. So I'm trusting high res that they fixed his mana issues and I'm picking up speed buff. Oh, I rolled into that. That was sickening. Mm. I'm just gonna ult him to poke him down. My ult actually chunked the shit out of him. Big heal. I think the first time that you won me was way better than this time. Because you don't have any follow-up on this one. The last time you had the minion waves to follow up because I was greedy. But this time, you just kind of did it because you wanted to. Oh, God, you can ult me. Please don't. I'm backing. Be gentle. I'm 
I... Ah, fuck. I lost red. I'm so bad. I'm gonna try to steal it. Will I? Probably. Almost definitely not. Oh, I got it. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Okay, but don't alt me. When you press your alt button, it scares me. So but don't spike my anxiety like that. I really thought it was going to stop my back now. All right. Uh, I guess I just do my speed buff. That was good. The reason that was good is not because I did damage to him. It's because I got the stacks. Because <laughs> that's all I wanted. <laughs> His backflip got that buff. Darn tootin, man. He's going transcendence too. He's down quite a bit of trans stacks on me. I don't know if holding off on his transcendence that long was on purpose. If it was... I think that's a misplay. Because each stack of trans gives you like an extra two or three power. Like it's actually kind of a fucking lot. Okay, I tanked your wave and I know you do a lot of damage to me. Please stop hurting. Okay, actually without your one though, you do not scare me. Do I kill? Oh, God damn, that was close. That was very close. Holy. Yeah, my ult did 500. He was not expecting that. To be honest, I wasn't expecting it either. That did a lot more damage than I thought it would. Alright, red buff. There's no point in me backing here when I'm literally 400 gold off of getting finished breastplate. Right? Also, you can really see the difference in the trans stacks here. Because he has tier 2 defense and I don't have any. And I'm still hitting him harder. Even though I have... Uh, no tier 2 defense. Alright, perfect. Got a full breastplate on that back. If I wanted it. <laughs> Trick ya, bitches. Devils and breastplate are the same amount of gold, and I told you I was double stacking. Um... Jeez, I actually hit really hard. Do it. You're dead. You're dead. Pow, pow, pow. I missed literally all of those. <laughs> you know what? I had fun. That's all that matters, right? I'm coming for that blue. Oh, never mind, I guess. Mm. 
I'm probably like 700 gold ahead. I know it says I'm almost a thousand, but he didn't kill the wave yet. So. Reason I am being so aggro is red buff. There's a reason for everything all the time. Don't go aggro for no reason. If you're going aggro, have a reason. We're dead here. I'm actually gonna take my time and aim. I missed all of them again, even while taking my time and aiming. You're probably gonna get the wave, but that's okay. I'll let you. I want I just want red. Um, I'm just going to get this wave. No I don't think I'm in any danger doing this. So I'm just going to do that. Get my gold a little bit faster so I can back and uh, I guess just grab XE. I could go defense. I just don't really want to. Honestly, I just don't really want to. I mean... Don't get me wrong. Defense is needed in games. And it is try hard Thursday. But when I'm ahead by a thousand gold when there's no kills on the board. And I'm double stacking. My damage is going to be so high. That I, I can easily get away with no defense. Like look at, look at that damage man. Look at that damage. I'm pretty sure you die here. Oh, good beats. Or shell, I mean. Good shell. I'm going to roll in. You can help me? Interesting. With no follow-up, I heal that instantly. With my Devos. I dash in an auto so he can't dash, and then I won him. For those who don't know, your, your auto attack after your three on ROM is a cripple. So when you land that auto attack after your dash, you are not just doing a little bit of bonus damage. You are crippling them. You know, I said a little bit of bonus damage. I This is the first time I've actually looked at the bonus damage you get from the three. I always just kind of uh, assumed that it only crippled and it did like an extra 20 damage but this says an extra 100 damage on that uh how do i look at that yeah well it only did 50 because 58 was mitigated because he has defense but still that was a really good cripple that was a good cripple shot it's very rare that you're playing rom and you actually have an opportunity to utilize your cripple to get a kill. It's very rare. And I love doing it. Oof. Phoenix hits so hard. Oh, your blue's not up. I was going to lifesteal off that. Um... Yeah, I'm just going to normal auto everything down right now just because I want the life steal. I also didn't know that ROMs 3 was a hastened, uh, hastened katana shot. Like, it doesn't slow you down. You can shoot it at full, sp uh, like at full sprint. Oh, nice attack speed. Nice attack speed. He hit me with the two so that my attack speed was low and his was high. And uh, you really saw it there. He was pumping. 
My attack speed is low anyways. It's only 1.4, actually. Um, I want to go Kins. But I can't afford it. So I think I'm just going to go Toxic Blade. Your middle tower is under attack. Low. Pretty sure I can just take his Phoenix. Like, he can't defend that at all. Gonna try to two me to heal. Easy peasy. And I'm just gonna take it. Yeah, there's really nothing he could do there, honestly. When he pushed for my tower, I knew his Phoenix was gone. You have blink? You don't. Okay. To save this city. Oh, that hit me. You what's you are Ready to surrender Did you die here? Oh, you got in fountain just in time. Oh fuck, she caught my dash. Don't hit the one. Oh fuck, I'm dead. Oh, no, you're dead. Time to save this city. No back oh shit. And before I die. Ooh. GG. GG, good game. Um, we're an hour and a half into this recording, so I think because the queue times were pretty short and it was only four games, I'm pretty sure this is still going to be an hour-long video, but who knows? I, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and until next time, guys, peace out.